Happy pre-Pegasus Friday here at MJC. Our feature race is race number eight, seven furlongs, going for the allowance optional 40, but we also have a really nice salty maiden special weight just the race before in race number seven. And they're off. Going to be getting Crossland and Celtic Cousin, and he rolls on the outside, three in the line, vying early on. In between Orises to live is to love is right there, but dropping back a little bit. Now passed by Arden's Lucky to Be. Arden's Lucky to Be moves up on the inside of the top pair now to grab the lead. Arden's Lucky to Be is in front as they move toward the five for a long mark. He rolls on the outside, just second from Crossland, right there in third. Celtic Cousin, the favorite, is in fourth, and it's back to Classic Legend, who travels fifth and only four to five from the front in the back. Back of the pack, we have Rapper Zapper, and To Live Is To Love has dropped out to trail the field round that far turn. Into the turn now, and it's Arden's lucky to be just in front of neck from Crossland in second. He rolls Celtic Cousin out of the clear with every chance to kick in from there. Celtic Cousin now third and taking aim at the pacemakers. Classic Legend slipping through the inside, taking forth a gap of six. Back to Rapper Zapper, and To Live Is To Love trailing the field. Racing out of the top of the stretch now, Arden's lucky to be holding on to a narrow lead. Crossland right there in between horses, and here's Celtic Cousin. Celtic Cousin trying to push on by as they turn for home. Arden's lucky to be digging down, though. Arden's lucky to be Celtic Cousin shifting in a little bit. Not by yet. On the inside, Crossland is third with a furlong lucky to go. On the inside, it's Arden's lucky to be. On the outside, Celtic Cousin. Arden's lucky to be. Arden's lucky to be. 30 to 1. 30 to 1, indeed. Arden's lucky to be. And Bryson Butterfly with a big upset over Celtic Cousin second. Crossland was third, and Rapper Zapper. And they're off. Calypso goes Fortis and Miss Casey the favorite. First three away. Just in behind them now is Shiny Penny, who's racing along fourth and now taken to the outside and followed by utterly enchanting saving ground. Golden account had the notion is seventh and last. Miss Casey from Calypso goes to lead as a length and Fortis is right there. Length and a half more utterly enchanting and Shiny Penny followed by Golden Account saving ground into the turn run. Had the notion trailing the field. Miss Casey to catch into the far turn. Miss Casey in front from Fortis. The outside is Calypso. Ghost very willing. Utterly enchanting down to the inside. Just in behind that trio is Shiny Penny. And they're followed by Golden Account. Top of the stretch with a quarter of a mile left to go. Miss Casey kicks on from Utterly Enchanting. Miss Casey just off the inside. Utterly Enchanting headroom at the rail. Now Miss Casey drops over to the inside. Utterly Enchanting kicks to the outside. It gives Chase three lengths behind Miss Casey. Miss Casey kept a task by Arnaldo Bucachica. Gonna win going away. Miss Casey by three. Now four. Miss Casey utterly enchanting second bass, and then Shiny Penny was third and had the notion was fourth and fourth.
When we started adding protocols, we, the first thing we knew we wanted to do was to add veterinarians watching training. We really had to look at all of the opportunities that we had to impact horse safety. Controlling medication and training, which had never been done. Investing in cutting edge diagnostic techniques, decreasing the amount of medication that was in the horse on race day. Right now it's training, but we're checking horses that are racing on Saturday. Thank you. Interesting. I feel like we are changing things for the better. Right now it's basically just being present. What we do examine various horses in the days leading up to race day, it's every horse. We're watching uh, the horses, how they warm up. The, now they've got weight on their back. We're on different surface. We're still following the horses. All the horses look good during their warm up, sound ready to run. I truly feel like we are moving the sport forward. The horses are better for it. We've really changed to focus on putting horses at the center and being the most important part of the equation. sign. And they're off. Moonsign, Boruff, and Best Choice Baby all firing out with speed. And Spunky Irishman up on the inside from fourth. Mungo Magic is in fifth. Rascally Rebel under a full ride, racing to the back of the pack. Ask him, Oki. And uh, Sheriff Ronnie trailing the field on the inside. Sheriff Ronnie's only six and a half for the front and tugging along there. And a little bit tight in between horses. Sheriff Ronnie's eager to go, but nowhere to go. Heading over the far turn with four furlongs left to go. Inside is Best Choice Baby, Boruff, latched to on the outside with Moonsign right there in third position and Spunky Irishman down inside there in fourth. Sheriff Ronnie trying to get through between horses there from fifth and only four and a half from the front. Mungo Magic at an even clip racing back of the pack with Ask Him Oki and Rascally Rebel trailing the field. Top of the stretch, best choice baby. Kicks on from Boruff by three lengths and Spunky Irishman down to the inside in third. And back to Moonside on the far outside in fourth. They're into the stretch for a long and a half left to run. And here's best choice baby holding sway by three. Boruff willing on the outside. Boruff charging and trying to grind down Best Choice Baby. Boruff on the outside keeps on coming. Here's Boruff in front and William Humphrey. Boruff with the 16th to go from Best Choice Baby to win by almost two lengths. Sheriff Ronnie was up for third and then Rascal Rebel fourth. Moonsign fifth. Minute 14.23. Introducing the first racing tool from Pegasus to Preakness. Iconic venues. World class racing. Millions at stake. 
New champions will be crowned. Only at first. Line up for the fourth. Pick six. In or off. Good break for Doppelganger, Gallant Gold, Shofar, and Jardani on the inside. And Rump is also right there. And on the extreme outside, Nostalgic Run. Six of them stacked across the track. Now Doppelganger will take back to second last position. Now improves the spot. Only four from the front as they sort into the first turn. Run trailing the field is Tate. Here's Nostalgic Run getting away with the lead. Rump is just second on the outside. Gallant Gold, the rail is Shofar. And they're followed by Doppelganger. The favorite is allowed to track now some six from that pacemaker who's opened up some daylight out there. Back to Giardani, second last position and Tate trailing the field. And it's Nostalgic Run going for it up front. Nostalgic Run now building on that lead. Five, almost six lengths from Romp and Gallon Gold. The inside is Shofar, then Doppelganger racing third last at this point and Giardani and Tate trailing the field. Nostalgic Run trying to run away with it. Has about a six length lead on Gallon Gold and Romp. Doppelganger trying to move now on the outside. Doppelganger in the second flight. Advancing into third, but still eight to make up on Nostalgic Run into the far turn. Nostalgic Run by seven or eight from Gallant Gold and Doppelganger. Then to the outside, Tate is picked up fourth, and Jardini down to the inside at fifth, but it is still Nostalgic Run. Here's Doppelganger trying to get closer now with a quarter of a mile left to go. Nostalgic Run has worked on that lead so far with a quarter of a mile left to go with a five-length advantage from Doppelganger as they turn in. Then Gallant Gold is next. Out the center of the track is Tate. They've got a furlong and a half left to go. It's Nostalgic Run holding onto the lead by three lengths. Doppelganger trying to charge at that one on the outside. Doppelganger's coming now. Here's Doppelganger. Doppelganger in a patient ride from Toledo going away. Doppelganger and Nostalgic Run hangs in well for second. Then it's Jardani third and Tate was fourth and Gallant Gold fifth. Minute 45. Probably the most beautiful racetrack in the country, to be honest with you. The background is just beautiful. I love Gulfstream Park because of the grandstand and the racing. The weather is beautiful. The facility is phenomenal. The Gulfstream Championship meet has become one of the top events of the year. Uh, you could come out on a Wednesday and see a future Preakness winner. They're off in the Preakness. Got the unique six and a half down the hillside turf course. A whole lot of great racing here in California. And uh, we're up. We have all three surfaces here, the only racetrack in the country to have all three surfaces. Being close to the ocean, being surrounded by some of the greatest horses and riders in history, it's, it's amazing. It's the prettiest thing you've ever seen. There's no one else has a background like we do. Light up.
And they're off the Cairo Kid. Very sharp start for the gray on the inside. Pit stop man early speed. Kate's Golden Dude to the outside. And dialing Dixie stoking up early speed as well. Mojack Cat right there. The second flight of between. Horses is back to Masai Man, who's only four from a speed. And trailing is should have had it. Pit stop man has worked to the lead. and opens a length and a half, almost two now. Dialing Dixie and the Cairo Kid back third of the inside. Kate's Golden Dude is racing in fourth. Then it's back to Masai Man, Mojack Cat, and should have had it. Tailing off last position now into the far turn run. Three furlongs from home. Pit stop man in front by three lengths from Dialing Dixie and the Cairo Kid fully hustled out of the inside in third position. Kate's Golden Dude out three wide and willing, and it's another four or five lengths back. Masai man, Mo Jack Cat should have had it trailing the field. Pit stop man in front as they turn in. Pit stop man trying to sustain for another furlong and a half. The Cairo Kid, Kate's Golden Dude, charging hard on the outside. Also between horses, Dialing Dixie's very game. But in tight and shuffle back for a long left to go. Pit stop man, Case Golden Dude, the Cairo Kid in between horses right there, a 16th to go. It's Pit Stop Man, the Cairo Kid in between horses trying to put that great nose in front. Here's the Cairo Kid, the Cairo Kid in the photo there with Kate's Golden Dude to Pit Stop Man, the dialing Dixie Masai Man. Photo, minute 12, 14. Back aboard. And they're off. Sweet Asta gets the first call out of the gate, but Stimulus Maker not going to pass that one and go to the lead. And Only Child is right there with early speed. Sweet Asta back in third position. Under fired out of the inside. A Badger Tooth races fifth already. Six off a pace. Sir Terre is followed by After Math. And then the back of the pack is Cash Kid and Bronco Maria. And trailing the field is Ice Bar in tenth. Ice Bar last. It has about 16 to make up at this point. As Stimulus Maker sets a good pace going solo by three. Only Child is second to half length 
length under fire is in third. Sweet Ass Tell the Far outside there. Fourth racing well off the rail. Aftermath is to the inside. Next is Sir Tear. Then back to Badger Tooth who's got 10 to make up at this point. Branca Maria Cash Kids saving ground as they move past the five ace and Ice Bar still 10th and last. And Stimulus Maker to catch. Stimulus Maker by three from Only Child. And under fire fully ridden along in third. Sweet Ass to fourth. Aftermath on the inside and fifth. Sir Tear is next. And back to Badger Tooth on the outside. It's another two into the field. Back to Bronco Maria. And then it's Cash Kid. And still last as Ice Bar has been last throughout. Three furlongs from home. Stimulus Maker. But Only Child menacing on the outside. Only Child now up to even terms of Stimulus Maker. Out wide is Sweet Astu. Who's had a wide journey. But coming with a promising run too. And they're followed by Sir Tear in fourth. Badger Tooth trying to make progress. The Orange Cap. Under fire is right there too as well. Racing well off the inside. Open affair into the stretch. On the outside, Sweet Asta, only child there on the inside with the white blinkers. And so fighting back is only child and Sweet Asta maybe a half ahead in front. Only child stimulus makers back in third. Badger Tooth trying to pick up very late, but too late to catch the top two. Only child, Sweet Asta, only child, Sweet Asta, nothing between them. Sweet Asta, only child, and an ice bar who was last came rolling for third, then Badger Tooth. Photo in a minute. Holding it eight to five. Line up seven furlongs. And they're off. Good afternoon, Oscar. Seven's 11 and no easy days on the outside, all in the early firing line. He's pure talent, hustled up on the inside, and quick, quick quit is right there, taken back a bit right off that pace. Another two to Margie Safan, the son, and Dover Bluff on the inside, and Treasurer trailing the field. Racing down the back stretch now, Seven's 11 up on the inside. Good afternoon, Oscar, on the outside. They're head to head for the lead. No easy days, sitting right off the pace in third position, a length and a half or two from the front. He's pure talent, is in fourth, and quick, quick wit is racing fifth. The inside 
inside is Dover Bluff. Margie's fun son has six to make up with a half mile left to go, and Treasurer is in the back still, heading into the far turn run. Good afternoon, Oscar, and seven's 11 out of the inside, still going head to head. Two lengths back, no easy days is next. And then he's pure talent back and forth, backs off a little bit there. Quick, quick wit is in between horses. Margie's fun son on the outside, driven along too. And next is Dover Bluff, held up at the back of the pack and trailing the field is Treasurer. Top of the stretch now, 7's 11. 7's 11 burst away from speed rival. Good afternoon, Oscar. Then no easy days. Quick, quick. Wit is next, then Dover Bluff in between horses. Past the furlong marker, 7's 11 fully extended with a five-length lead. 7's 11 in front with a 16 to go. And well clear now, 7's 11 in Angel Cruz. 7's 11, here's no easy days. Game lead for second, and Dover Bluff finishing with some interest there. And then good afternoon, Oscar in quick, quick, quit. And at 26. And they're off. There goes Starship Laubon and hashtag lucky. Showing early speed. In between horses, Acadian Girl up sharp and close. And Carol Girl away running fourth on the inside. Back to Hope has a name. Back to Stand By You to the back of the pack now. And Lady Macho trailing the field. Lady Macho last and about eight or nine off that pace as Starship Laubon rolls along. Starship Laubon up top from the chasing Acadian girl in second and hashtag lucky is third. Carol girl down inside and fourth. Hope has a name is fifth and trying to fire up now with a half mile left to go. Back to Stand By You and Lady Macho trailing the field. Far turn run, and they're still chasing Starship Laubon, Acadian Girl, trying to put some pressure on. Same two on the outside for hashtag lucky. Three of them all minutes on the line, but Starship Laubon's fending them off so far. Acadian Girl right there now. One more try, and hashtag lucky on the outside. Here's Hope has a name, looming large from fourth while saving ground at the top of the stretch. And stand by you, they turn for home. And it's Starship Laubon just off the inside there, leaving her with her inside for Hope has a name. Hope has a name, hard driven out of the inside. Inside Starship Laban drifting a bit for the final furlong. And so Hope has a name, a ground saving run. Hope 
has a name. Hope has a name. Kicking away late to win going away by four. Hope has a name. And Angel Cruz with a triple. Starship Lob on second. Stand by you is third. Hashtag lucky on the outside. Orcadian girl. Maryland Jockey Club canter for a cause cantered on with just over 300 entrants this year coming from far and wide in this unique event to walk trot and canter over the famed Pimlico race course that showcased historic legends and champions the only event of this type founded by George Ann Hale all benefits go to the renowned nonprofit the thoroughbred aftercare alliance well this is a great event I think it really showcases the thoroughbred can come out here and, and ride and come back to the racetrack and not have any issues it's a great event for awareness and fundraising and I think it's a great community event especially with with these people bringing OTTBs because when they bring them here and they get to showcase them in front of everyone else I think it's really fun and because it's close to Halloween this year we've seen a lot of great costumes so that's good too I think a lot of people assume that if the racehorse ever came back to the track that they would not be able to handle it. And we've seen today lots of horses come through the gate with little kids being let out and things are fun. So yeah, I think once they're out of that racehorse mode for the most part and they can come out to the track and enjoy themselves and I think depending on what they're being trained for, they come back here and they know that this rider wants to canter slow or walk or trot, so it's good, it's good. In the gate. And they're off. I on the mic and Foul Nation showing early foot out of the gate. The inside is Spectre is also right there. First three sorting out. Here's Fartlick settling in in fourth position over the border ground saving round the turn. And California goes to the back of the pack with Run Rocky Run back there too. Only five and a half lengths from first to last. Spectre the tempo maker. Spectre is up top a half length as they pass the seven A's. Foul Nation right there on the outside too is I am the mic. And the inside is over the border. We're on the far outside is Fartlek, and the blue color is Fartlek has moved forth. The widest of them all down the back stretch. Run, run, Rocky, run, and California goes now trailing the field. Racing now past the five ace pole with Spectrier just up top from Foul Nation second. I am the Mike is in third. Wide trip for Fartlek who's in fourth. Then back to over the border on the inside. Right there, there's a couple of links on the front. Back to run, Rocky, run, ridden along down to the rail and trailing the field is California goes in 
in seventh. Into the turn they roll and three ace to go. Foul Nation maybe the nose in front from Spectrier and I am the mic three wide. Fartlick on the far outside comes to try to join them as well. Over the border is racing in fifth. Back to California. Ghost and run. Rocky run trailing the field. Top of the stretch. Three or four in a scramble past the quarter pole. They make the turn for home. Spectrier. Foul Nation two path. The outside I am the mic and the white blinkers. Extreme outside is Fartlick. Into the stretch. Three sixteenths of a mile left to run. And I am the mic strikes the lead. I am the mic. A fighting Spectrier out of the inside. Fartlick. Here's California. Ghost on the center of the track coming with a bit of a late bid as well. It's Spectria just in front. I am the Mike. California goes to extreme outside and Fartlick. Three chances now with a 16th to go. Fartlick, Fartlick going to get there. Fartlick and William Humphrey. Fartlick from Spectria. California goes to the back of the pack and I am the Mike. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, Pegasus Day is tomorrow. We've got a watch party. Gates open at 10.30 a.m. Come and join the fun.